What you see before you today is the remnants of what once was intended to be a filter barrel for a GEK GEC gasifier kit from All Power Labs. It never made its way to become one of those filter barrels. As I started working with the professional units, so there was really no need for me to build an experimenter's kit. Used it to store a bunch of stuff, but it ended up getting renovated into a charcoal pyrolyzer, uh, which seemed kind of fitting to me considering that it used to be for a gasifier, but now it's just for a different kind of gasifier. A charcoal pyrolyzer is basically a charcoal maker. You put this barrel on a campfire and you pack it full of wood. The gases from the wood will come out and through here and there is a number of holes drilled on this side of this tube here. Um, you can see here, 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 a couple of them. I think there's only five. And those, when this is tipped sideways, will shoot out all of the pyrolyzed synthetic natural gas, this producer gas, and cook the barrel more while there's no oxygen getting into the barrel so it will turn into carbon charcoal. Now this works really fantastically if you have access to a wood shop around and you can get hardwood scraps. But today we are going to try and repurpose this into being able to do some fire art. So if you watched my previous video, you might recognize this spinner here. Um, this was the original idea was to power it off of this guy. But realizing that this needed a minimum of 20 PSI to work, I neither want this barrel, being as rusted and fired as it is, to hold 20 PSI, nor do I think it can, because there is no ceiling underneath of here anymore. That rubber gasket is long gone. I probably peeled it out before I fired it the first time. And this, this is only tight enough to keep excess air getting into it so that the charcoal inside won't burn away. So, but you can see what I did here. And I'm going to take this over to my friends in a couple of days, and we're going to test this out on top of his fi fire poofer. Going forward, since that can't work, I still wanted to try and make some kind of gasifier fire art. So, we're just going to go with a ring of fire. And I'll show you a clip of me making it here in a second. Alright, so I've taken my piece of copper tube, this is a uh, pretty close to half inch copper tube I believe it is, just soft copper, and for the last six feet of it or so I took that pack of steel wool, wrapped it in it, but before I did that I drilled a whole bunch of holes in it, a couple inches apart each, and when I say drill I mean I broke a pile of drill bits and then discovered that with a nail and a hammer you can pretty easily control the size of the holes that you're making just by how many times you tap it in and it was actually a lot faster and I didn't break any more drill bits after that and now we're gonna make it into a circle alright so we've got our circle made here it came out to be about two feet um, so I'm gonna take this extra little piece of wire here uh, just some copper wire and this is kind of unnecessary, but I'm going to tie these ends together just so it stays a circle while it's there. And the end of this tube is just hammered, uh, actually viced, shut, so that it's a closed end over here. So I'm going to plug up the holes that I have here, and there's probably going to be some leakage, but I'm just going to use this hole here. So this will be able to connect with this flare fitting that was already on the piece of scrap copper to this fitting here. And we're basically gonna try and block off the holes on this uh, external burner pipe at the moment because I want all of the pressure coming out of the ring of fire. So since it is a charcoal maker, I wanna show you what this comes out with. Now this is some really nice stuff. It's a little bit browned here on this side, but this is 
it's still charcoal almost the entire way through these pieces. Um, these ones actually they are, but occasionally you'll get one that's just kind of browned, but it still works really well for, and this, this is just the bottom of the barrel. We actually get sticks that we have to break up in it. Well, let's head over to the fire pit and set up. All right, so here's the fire pit we're going to be using. And over here are my bundle of sticks and hardwood. And this is what we're going to be using. All right, so we got this guy all packed up. I got about halfway full of sticks and then decided just to throw in some solid wood chunks to see how those do. Uh, same kind of stuff. Uh, this one's red oak. I left a lot of the uh, smaller sticks as once you put that in here and it turns into charcoal, it basically becomes something that you can't actually use to cook with. And that is the goal here to make an entertaining process of making charcoal. This way is a little bit more fun for me because I already had the stuff laying around. All right, so here's the setup I got going on. I've taken this out of a flare fitting on the lid and ran it up hoping that it won't condense a whole bunch of tars in the line when we're done so we can still use it for something else. And the ring that we've made is just positioned right above it, actually relight itself if by chance it goes out. But I don't actually know if the thing's going to work, so we'll, we'll find out now. You got a torch? Alright, so we got the fire started, and I started my clock timer on my phone a few minutes ago, so I'll get back to you when this thing starts working. The cheese was pop. <laughs> We're starting to get a little bit of smoke out of it. Oh, it's burning here. We got a flare. Let's see what we're actually looking at here. This whole thing is just like dripping with really tarry gas. This is this is basically like the worst gas fire you could really hope for. Um, I think that's what's actually burning at the bottom down there is just tar blobs. Good light. Woo! Dead spot. Funny. All right, this is 50 minutes in. I don't think I'm going to care about the time anymore. So we're not getting full pressure around the ring because it looks like we've uh, lost our I didn't have the right parts on hand to make it work tonight. But we did get the ring to light up. Uh, it's like a third lit up right now. But we'll still get charcoal in the end, so it's still a good day. That's pretty limp right there. Yeah, you can see it's like pink right there. No, not. But it's still kind of firing a little bit over here, off to the side.
check out how far this is torching out on the other side, just out of that pit in there. There it goes. There it goes. Let's get that extra torch there. Well, you say that's a good 12 inches, right? At least. Alright, so today is tomorrow and we're going to check out and see how this charcoal barrel came out. Here's the other end of that fire ring. It kind of kind of kinked off and uh, pu pulled right out of the flare. I still have a good hoop. I could use that a couple more times if I put propane into it. Now since I ended up pulling the copper tubing out, I just took some steel wool and wrapped that up and shoved it in here to plug the holes so hopefully we didn't burn out all of our charcoal. If I would have left that open, the charcoal probably would have been able to get enough oxygen and we probably would have lost about half of it into ash. Alright, so we got the bolt pulled out and I went ahead and pulled this piece off too. Um, but check out all of this in here. We got a lot of pyrolysis gases building up some, some pyrolytic tar. Uh, it's not totally filled if I if I pull out this chunk of steel wool. Just a bit of clogged artery there, so... It's a good sign though, let's see what's inside. You saw how full it was before when we started. And we've definitely had some reduction in volume. But we got some nice, nice charcoal, it seems to be all the way through. Yeah, sparkles. Check that out. Um, but it was a good first test. I haven't tried that before, so making progress. And we still made a good batch of charcoals. Oh, it was not lost. Check this stuff out. Carbon foam. Alright everybody, thanks for watching, and I'll keep you updated as to how this project goes. It looks like this fire barrel has a few more runs left in it, but I might move up to a bigger barrel before this one dies. Stay tuned, I'll see you next time.